So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's another beautiful day today here in Pennsylvania. 65 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Things are drying up nicely. It's a great day to be down here at the wood yard. Today's video is going to be a little different than what you're used to seeing. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this type of video where I'm just standing here talking. But we get a lot of questions in the comments section. And a lot of them are the same questions. So I figured we're going to go through all that kind of talk about plans for this year, give you some updates on some different things, and just knock all this out in one video, then we can kind of get back to work around here. But first and foremost, uh, daughter Eva feeling fantastic after her brain surgery that she had on January 4th. Back at the gym every day, things are going great with her. Hunter doing fantastic as well, especially this time of year. He's able to get outside. He loves being outside, seeing what's going on, doing his thing. And he gets a little stir crazy in the winter months like we all do. And as far as his seizures go, knock on wood. This is my podium here, by the way. Nice stack of red oak. Uh, but as far as his seizures go, I think we have finally got his medicine figured out. He's been doing great. He's been seizure free for a while now. So we're very happy about that as well. The rest of the family, myself included, uh, we all have a cold right now. I'm about over mine, I feel fine, but my voice is still a little jacked up. Melissa has it now, Hunter had it, Eva had it, Levi, Kate, Ty, Thea, everybody had it, but we're all getting over that, and uh, this weather makes that a lot easier to do. So that's all good. Now for some not such good news, uh, the swimming pool. A lot of people have been asking about the swimming pool, when we're gonna put the pool in. The answer to that question is, I have no idea at this point. The company that uh, we were dealing with, we ordered this pool way back, when was that Texas freeze? Remember when they had all the problems in Texas? It was right before that because, because of the resin shortage or something. And I know there's supply chain issues with everything. They couldn't get the pool. They were planning on putting it in like late last fall. We said, wait till spring. Well, that company went out of business. That's what happened. I did give them a deposit. I have not gotten my deposit back yet. I have been in touch with them. I talked to the previous owner of this business that is no longer in business. And uh, he has a friend that puts in pools or an associate or it's where he got his pools. He was trying to push me that direction, but I'm gonna steer clear of all of that because uh, I had one problem with one guy. I don't wanna go through the same thing with another guy. My biggest mistake on that was I should have dealt with a local company. I thought I did my homework on this, and I know there's a lot of factors out there and things change over time, but uh, right now we don't have a pool coming and I don't have my deposit back either. We'll see how that all works out. Sometimes you just have to write things off and learn from your mistakes. And like I said, I should have just went with a local company, but uh, yeah, it's not good. And it's not the end of the world. I mean, there's some real problems in the world. I'm not gonna sit here and complain about not getting a swimming pool. And Melissa's feeling the same way about it. And we have some other things in the works that uh, may make up for that. I can't get into that right now, but uh, no swimming pool here in the near future. That's it for the swimming pool. Next up, question that keeps coming up over and over again, the logs across the road at the neighbor's place, they're still there. They're not going anywhere. She's not in a big hurry and neither am I. Uh, this time of year, I just have to wait for things to dry up a little bit more. Things are really drying nicely, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, but she's got quite a few over there and some are way down over the hill, down in the woods. I'll use the skidding winch for that. And that track loader that I have coming will be very handy in recovering the rest of those logs. And once we're done, I'm gonna put the chipper on the tractor. The ones that I got out of there, I was kind of cleaning up as I go and stacking some brush. I'll go over there, chip everything up, clean it all up but she's got a beautiful place over there. And like right now, I don't wanna go over and tear up her yard getting in there. So that's the story on the logs. Uh, something else I wanted to talk about on a different note, Facebook. I know a lot of you, uh, it's like two separate groups of people. You got your Facebooks and your YouTubes, and there's not a lot that go back and forth, at least from what I can tell. But our Facebook page, uh, we made some changes there, and it's been growing really fast. Uh, we went from about 20,000 followers on Facebook up to about 150 or 160,000 in the last month or so. And what we did, if you follow us on Facebook, you probably noticed we've been publishing videos on there that are shorter, kind of condensed versions of older videos. 
And it's a lot less personal, in my opinion, like here on YouTube, you know what's going on with our whole family and Hunter and the dogs and all that. The Facebook videos now are more just like work related, like they'll take a 15 minute video, condense it down to three or four minutes and put it on Facebook. So if you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. But what we did, we partnered with this company and they take care of all that. We still publish, you know, post pictures and answer comments and all that. But I have a company right now that takes those old videos, puts them on Facebook. So if you're on there and you're, and you're noticing like the editing style is a little bit different, that's what's been going on there. But it's been a lot of fun. Like I said, we've had huge growth there uh, just in the last month or so. So it's working. And if you're into the shorter video or you just want to see equipment working and wood being cut or the sawmill, go over there to Facebook and check it out. Next up, plans for uh, 2022 here on the property. To be honest, there's too many to list. If I get half of it done, it'll be a great year. But just some of the things that we're gonna be working on, we're gonna expand this whole wood yard down here, make it a lot bigger, make the workflow a lot better. It's one of the things we're gonna be doing as soon as we get the uh, track loader. We're gonna be widening out some trails, building some roads, some land clearing. Uh, we're gonna be doing some building of some things, a uh, sawmill shed, big shed down here, concrete floor for the new sawmill. That will be coming hopefully September, October, I'm not sure right now, and I made some changes on that. If you remember, I ordered a LX450, which is a twin rail design like my LX150, I like that. But I did some checking and some researching and figured out what I wanted a little bit better, and I switched that order to the 50. It's the cantilever design, but with all the bells and whistles, it'll be a powerhouse of a mill with the uh, diesel engine on it, the whole nine yards. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, you won't see that here till probably September, October. Next subject I wanted to talk about uh, briefly is the tractor pictures that we were including in some of our videos. Uh, we're done with that for this year. We'll try it again next year. Uh, but that was a lot of fun seeing what you guys are doing in your part of the world. You get to see what we do. And we really enjoyed doing that. If you didn't see your picture in a video, I apologize. We did our best. Uh, what was starting to happen was people we're sending the same pictures in again, sending new pictures, sending 10 or 15 pictures, and it got just to be too much and too confusing. We probably got seven or 8,000 pictures in all. Next time that we do this, I need to find a way to make sure everyone just sends in their best picture in horizontal mode, one picture. And uh, we'll find a way to do that for next year. Maybe a way for them to upload it or something right to our website and we can pull it off of that, but we'll figure that out and we'll do that again next year. Uh, something else I want to talk about, other YouTube channels, specifically smaller channels that are just getting started. Uh, we get a lot of emails from that type of channel looking for ways to grow uh, their channel. And a lot of them ask us to give them a shout out and it's just not possible, I wish I could, but like I said, literally every day we get emails from channels and I'll go check them out if I have time. But some of these, you know, they got seven or eight videos on there and they're wanting me to give them a shout out. I just can't do that. The best advice that I can give for any YouTube channel, someone that's just starting out, is upload the best content that you can as often as you can. That's all there is to it. I never, now this is the way I did it. I don't know if it's right or wrong. I never even told anybody about our YouTube channel till it reached a thousand subscribers. And it took a long time to get to that point because I didn't want people that just knew me or friends or whatever to subscribe to our channel just because I asked them to. I wanted people to enjoy the content. So I thought it was best just to put the stuff out there, keep uploading videos, and it took a long time to get to a thousand subscribers. But it's like anything else, it's a grind. It's a daily grind, it's a ton of work, and uh, that's really the only advice I have. But as far as giving other channels shout outs, I've done that in the past, but I have to know them. I have to be familiar with their, their content. And uh, it's just not something I can do. I'd have to do it every day if I do it for one. So that's why I haven't been giving shout outs to some of you that have been sending in emails asking for them. I just, I just can't do that. The next subject I wanna talk about are the you shoulds out there in the world. I always say YouTube should be called you should because you always get comments from people, you should do this, you should do that. 
And I was hesitant to even talk about this. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But you know what? I was watching a Wrangler Star video the other day, and he got into this. He was talking about, he titled the video something, Furious Rant. Same old thing. You know, he was running a chainsaw mill, and you have people telling me stupid for not running his Lucas mill. And he went on to explain why he does what he does. And I don't do that often enough. And a good example of that is this. The other day, I went out in the woods. There's snow in the ground and I'm taking down one maple tree to bring it back here to the yard for a special project that we'll get into later. And I had the big tool rack on the back of the tractor, firewood bucket on the front, and I go out. I was in the woods a total of an hour and a half, right? And there's all these comments. Why don't you have your skidding winch on? You shouldn't lift with the loader on your tractor. All these different things that were quite honestly just nonsense. When I make a video like that, you don't see what all goes on behind the scenes, I guess. You know, I've got two tripods with me, chainsaw, chaps, fuel, sharpen my saw before I go out. Uh, that video probably took me three and a half hours to edit and upload. A lot of people talk about it would be faster to do this or it would be faster to do that. If I was in that big a hurry, I wouldn't video any of this because that's what takes the most time. I could really speed things up around here if I didn't make the videos. So when you're watching these videos, you have to keep in mind there's a whole lot more that goes into it than what you see just on video. And I guess that's a good thing because when I make videos, I don't want you seeing the cameras out there. I'm trying to, you know, you're out in the woods, it's a beautiful day, you, you find the appropriate music for that video. I want people to be, you know, to be able to do everything but smell it. You know what I mean? That's what I strive for in videos. And I have a long way to go on that, but I try to set the atmosphere while editing exactly like it was that day when I was doing that work or whatever I was videoing. So, you know, like I said, there's all these comments. You should have done this. You should have done that. I get it. There's probably a lot faster way to do things than I do things sometimes, but the fastest way to do it would be not to video it at all. And I just want people to understand they're watching a YouTube channel. Now, this is real world stuff right here, but it's all being videoed and, you know, filmed by myself, edited by myself. And uh, there's just a lot of things that you don't see. And like I said, the reason I didn't use the skidding winch the other day, it was one tree. I was out in the woods for an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. It would have taken me a half hour to switch things out, put the skidding winch on, walk out, come back and maybe get the sidekick and haul all my gear out. I don't know, but that's just the way I have to do things around here and that's the way I enjoy doing it. And I also want you to know, I am not complaining at all. I get to work from home every single day doing whatever I want and I'm so blessed and so fortunate to be able to do that. And it's because you watch those videos. I just want the you shoulds to understand their reasons that they don't know the answers to why I do what I do. I hope that makes sense. Anything else I wanted to cover? I think that's about it for now. I really do. The pond, haven't been down there in a long time. I don't know what the condition of the pond is right now. Uh, I mean, the standpipe and all that's working, uh, but that's one of the other things on the list this year. That's a good August, you know, August time of year to work on that pond. But I think that's about it for now. I really do. That was uh, kind of rambling on there a little bit, but I hope I answered some of your questions. I hope I gave you a better understanding of why I do some of the things I do. And like I said, oh, also Melissa's shirts. Don't forget to check out that link in the description. Uh, the shirt sales have been through the roof and uh, we are very appreciative of that. It's nice, people have been sending us pictures of them, you know, their wife got them one on their birthday or whatever, so that's been pretty cool. But anyway, I think that's it. Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.